what we're going to go over next with this 597 is mounting the sling swivels. You look at a 597, there's not really a whole lot to go on on the back, especially if you've got the camouflage pattern on it. You just kind of have to eyeball that. However, on the front, there's this nice little divot right there. That, as you look at it, coincidentally, it's just about the perfect size for a bolt to go through. So what you're going to want to do is drill that hole out. What I do is I get the bolt that I'm going to use, the swivel kit bolt, and measure that and then drill it uh, about two drill sizes smaller. That way there's a nice tight bite. <clears throat> One that I like to use has these bolts that look like wood screws for the back since I'm just biting into the plastic and for the front <clears throat> for the front has the nut and bolt because I can actually attach the bolt on the inside of the stock on the inside of the stock of a 597 right opposite of that divot you're gonna see that post what I actually like to do is I like to drill out this divot and I drill it all the way through until it's coming out the post on the back side to give me a, a guide starter hole and what I'll do is I'll take a drill that is the same size as that post a drill bit and actually drill about half of that away so that this bolt the nut for this mounting kit will set here but as it's setting there, it will actually be well below the level of the barrel so it doesn't come in contact with any part of the barrel. Now, this is a solid pillar, so you can choose to put this on both the front and the back. The only thing I don't like about putting this on the back is it's not much smaller than this post, and that post can split. Bolts for the front have a nice loose fit at 3 16 and I would actually have to screw them in at 11 64 so the drill size, the drill bit size that I'm going to use for the front is an 11 64 for the back I don't like to go by the size of the teeth because the teeth are what needs to grab the plastic go to the smallest one that allows the teeth just to smart or just to start so for the for the back I'll probably go to a 530 seconds because that'll allow the bolt to start that's about the width of the bolt but it's smaller than the teeth so I'll get a full length a full depthness grip by the rear teeth all right the other thing that I like to do is when I first start these holes when I'm drilling is a much smaller drill bit than I need so that I have plenty of room to move around to make sure that I've got the angle going in straight like I want and also to make sure that it's going to go straight I'll actually do my starter holes from inside on this pillar so I can actually use that pillar pointing straight up and down as a guide to make sure that my drill is going in straight up and down. As you can see, it's pretty close to dead center on that divot on the other side. Now that I've got that starter hole drilled nice and straight, I'll actually switch to the 1164, which is the size I said I wanted. Make sure it's lined up in there. And then just tap. allow this bolt to fit in there, but probably just barely. It'll go in, but it has to be screwed in. That's exactly what I want. That way it's tight enough to be strong, but it's loose enough that I don't have to force anything in there or worry about the plastic splitting. Now I'm going to start screwing this in with a longer bolt, just to show the clearance issues. In order to screw this down faster, I just take an old Allen key, slide the Allen key through the eye of the sling swivel, and then just crank it down. Now, Using the longer one, you can see that the nut is going to stick up just above that pillar. 
or the bolt rather is going to stick up just above that pillar. So even if I take off enough of that pillar to allow clearance for the barrel for that nut to fit on top of there, the bolt sticking out the back of the pillar or the back of the nut is still going to contact the barrel. One way to contact to correct that, if you want to use the longer pillar, if you're a hunter and you want to be able to take the extra weight and you want the longer pillar, your kits usually come with washers, like a tiny little lock washer. Sometimes they're white, sometimes they're black. That in there, placed just between the stock and the sling swivel, will give you enough clearance to correct that issue. All right, the next step in this parade is to recess this to actually drop it lower so that this nut will fit down inside there to attach to that bolt and be at least as low as this pillar, preferably a little bit lower. So, now that I've got this nice starter hole drilled, that's what we'll call it for now, I get a pretty big drill bit and the base of that drill bit is the same diameter as that pillar. And I just use that, that hole just to drill this, to drill this down. Now, I also recommend taking your time on that. Don't force it, don't use a whole lot of pressure, just basically use the weight of the drill and the bite of the drill bit to pull that in. There's a tiny paper thin wall of plastic still here and that's just from the plastic heating up and not flaking away. You can actually just use a little little exacto knife or something to trim that away or you can use your finger and flake it off. Now as you can see that'll start to break and that'll come right off. Now what I like to do when I'm drilling that you know that with that longer with that longer bolt that longer bolt came up just barely above that pillar before we started trimming that pillar back by about two threads. So what you want is when you have this nut on on the inside you want it to be at least flush if not a little bit beyond so that there's some of that bolt sticking up as long as you know that bolt's going to clear the barrel and you can see that bolt above that nut then you know the nut is going to clear the barrel so I like to put it I also know that by adding the thickness of that washer Adding that washer on there, the thickness of that washer is thicker than the amount of the bolt that was sticking up above that pillar. So, with the washer in place, I'm using the longer bolt. Go ahead and get that started. It's already been in there once, so it'll go in a whole lot easier the second time. But just for the sake of speed. I'll grab my Allen key again. Make sure that doesn't tip down like that or it will scratch the finish on your stock. Now you might have to crank this down tight. In fact, you want it just to be tight enough where it just barely makes contact with that plastic washer. That will keep it from going in too deep and making contact with the barrel and that will allow for a little bit of freedom of movement where under weight you'll get just a tiny bit of swivel in that sling swivel. Roll it over, take your nut, and attach that nut on the inside. Now what I like to do is put just one tiny little drop of thread locker inside of that nut. You don't want to you don't have to worry about that thing coming out under recoil or something. You just want enough that it doesn't work free under vibration over time. Crank that down and once it's cranked down you'll be good to go. All right. Once that's in, what I do is I look at it from the front, look at it again from the back, just to make sure that all the views that I'm looking at it, I cannot see that nut sticking up into the barrel channel so that I know that, that nut is going to clear the barrel when the barrel's inside there. And there's your 
front swivel, <laughs> front sling swivel stud, which is the hard. Okay, again for the back, I do the same thing I did for the front. I start with a really small drill bit, really small, just so I know I can get a nice, nice straight start. start with such a small drill bit because by using that drill bit kind of like a cutter I was able to open that up a little bit so that it's centered and I just use the seam running down the center of the stock as my center line now I step up to a little bit dr larger drill bit which is the size we decided on earlier tap that the rest of the way out but once you're done with that there is your Remington 597 stock with two sling swivel studs.